Good morning. The house is hopping today. It is so good to see everybody. If you're visiting here, and um, many of you are, uh, my name's Michelle, and I get to be the pastor at Community Church, and this is a very good celebration kind of day. Um, Father God has ensured that some spectacular blessings have come our way, and as we individually, as we as a community, choose to position ourselves to receive and thoroughly enjoy them, we are going to enjoy something fully and completely unprecedented in our lives. So let's make sure that we are in the position to receive those things. Today we're going to be celebrating our graduates. Then we're going to, yay, yes. And then we're going to head outside and we're going to celebrate water baptism. Yes. And then we are, uh, oh, yeah, and water baptism. We always love to leave this open at Community Church. If through the day, uh, through our service, you feel like, you know, Michelle, I haven't done this yet. And I'm really feeling, you know, churning or speaking softly or whatever it is that Holy Spirit does in you. If you feel like you want to get water baptized today, see me. I'm the one in the stripy shirt and I'll probably be wet later. But we'll ask later. After everybody else is done, we'll ask. And you are absolutely welcome. I'll ask you a couple of questions and put you on the spot a little bit. It'll be awesome. All right. Let's have a read of Psalm 21 to 5. And we're particularly looking at uh, verses 4 and 5. But it's this whole thing about our prayers being answered about being celebrated. Uh, in times of trouble, may the Lord hear your cry. May the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. May he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he remember all your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. May he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. And today, may we shout with joy when we hear of your victory. Every kid that has graduated, every student that has gone to class enough times to graduate, yes, we celebrate you. And we raise a, and raise a victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord answer your prayers. Let's just pray. Father God, we come to you with hearts full of gratitude for your goodness toward us. Even if we had a week that was crammed with stinking thinking, you have been faithful and kind because that's the kind of God you are. You are the best of fathers. And Lord, we repent and we, we confess and we repent of thoughts that and actions that have, have put us far away from you, Lord, because what we need most in our life is to be in your presence, Lord. So together, Community Church walks into your presence, Lord, and we just say, forgive us. Forgive us for anything that we've done and thought that has kept us from you. And Lord, I know that I know that when you look at us, and you see Jesus, you say, what, what are you talking about? It's already forgiven. Father, I thank you that we can boldly and come with confidence into your presence today. And we can celebrate, and we can worship, and we can bring you glory. Father God, this service belongs to you. Holy Spirit, mix it up, because that would be awesome. We just thank you today in your name. Amen. Amen. Marika. And then Jennifer. Wow, hey everybody. I'm Marika and um, I'm the kids ministry director here. Uh, I just had a couple things to uh, announce or ask for today. Uh, first off, just wanted to say there's no kids' church upstairs or nursery. We just want everyone to stay in here and enjoy the time together. Um, secondly, 
our day camp is in like how often? How how close? Two weeks. Oh, how many hours? I don't know. Um, and we are in like full fledged prep mode right now. Um, however, we would love to have um, some help in um, a couple areas. We would love to have uh, a, a teardown crew on Friday afternoon. So if you ha are available Friday afternoon between like one and five or one and six, come anytime um, just to help tear down and get this place back in order for Sunday. And we would also love uh, some help for some afternoon outings. So we're going to, what, do I, what are we doing? On Tuesday, we're going bowling, a watered down bowl. Wednesday, we're going to Bronte Creek. And on Friday, we're going to the movie theater. So if you have an afternoon, even one afternoon, and you want to come with us, um, you can come on the bus or you can drive yourself. Just let me know. That would be so, so amazing. Also, if you have some time in the morning and you want to help out as well, um, I guess everyone can kind of know their schedules a little bit closer now. Let me know. Um, I'm going to have uh, some clipboards out around later on that you can sign up for, and I can reach out to you or, um, or reach out to me in any way. Also, one more thing. Our theater camp uh, is on July 4th. Um, the wonderful Holly is going to organize it, and uh, our summer staff student or summer staff, uh, she's amazing. Um, and it's just going to be a fun a fun fun day. It's one day, $15 a kid from 9 to 4, and uh, yeah, so tell your friends, and uh, tell everyone you know, it's going to be a fun day. That's it for me. Thank you. Thank you, Marika. It's kind of cool when you know what you're doing when it comes to theater camp, and Holly has some chops, so don't be afraid. Your kids will actually learn some skills that day. Okay, I got two things. Uh, one is a reminder that the ladies' Bible study will start this week, the 28th, at my home in Dundas. So we're meeting about, well, we are meeting at 10 a.m., not about. Don't come before. I might still be in my pajamas. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we'll have coffee. We'll watch the video. We'll chat. Um, this is going to be a little bit more of an intimate study. It's about uh, trustworthiness by Lisa Trickhurst, and it's on First and Second Kings. So... Uh, there's still spots if you are interested in uh, joining email jennifer at communitychurch.ca um, the second thing is um, since today is such a special sunday um, we want the kids and the babies to be a part of it so we're in here about 45 minutes right so parents of toddlers and babies you only have 45 minutes to endure because um, we are not going to have the nursery upstairs today so everybody is here, kids and the littles, and um, parents, don't stress. Kids make noise. We're okay with it, okay? We're so okay with it. Okay, that's it for me. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Aren't these guys, our volunteers are awesome. Give our volunteers a hand, please. No, not volunteers, service. Folks who serve. Thanks so much, you guys. And let's all stand up, and it's time to worship in song. Okay, first of all, I need all the kids to come up and help me with this song, okay? So come on, kids, come and help me.
believe in you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you have given us your son. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. We thank you, God, our Father. Thank you so much.
Father God, thank you that you are simple, that you are gloriously three in one, and we serve and we worship Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We honor you and we thank you that we can come into your presence. Lord, I thank you that we are secure in the knowledge that you are our Savior. If we have repented and confessed and repented, and Lord, if we have chosen to make you the Lord of our life, we can walk knowing that we know that one day, us worshiping here in this tiny little building <laughs> it's going to be multiplied by billions of times as we're worshiping with, with brothers and sisters in your throne room, Lord. Oh, it is going to be so good. Lord, I thank you for each one here today. Father, you know that there are needs among us. And I ask you, Father, that you would touch each one where they need you, Lord God, whether it's their physical health, mental health, whether it's finances, relationships, careers, Lord, whether you know the spectrum, and it's pretty big. Lord God, we ask you to touch each one. And Lord, we thank you for that. And we worship you in your name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. If you can just give us a second here. We are going to call our grads up. It's grad time. And we're going to call our grads up one at a time so that they can awkwardly walk up the aisle in front of everyone. And we are going to appreciate each one. In fact, today I'm going to stand ooh, up here so that they can stand below me. Okay, all right, so we're going to start with our university, college, and our trade school grads first, uh, because the little kids just couldn't handle staying up here for so long. So, uh, we're going to call up Madeline Walker right now. Miss Madeline, Miss Walker, she is a teacher now, woo So much work. Awesome job, Mads. You do, yeah. And I thought you'd have a nice dress, so I said Mads the one. And can I give you those two? Thanks, okay. See, in true teacher fashion, there she is right there. We're also going to celebrate Dave Bronsma today. Now, we understand that Dave isn't here. Thank you. He is um, baseballing because he is a a baseballer. Dave is going to marry our Hillary Sears in just a few minutes, it feels like. So uh, Dave, is gradu he has graduated from um, Mac. He is, I told you that already, he's a pitcher. He's a pretty serious dude, although I believe that photo <coughs> does not make him look as fierce as he does when he's in pitcher mechanism uh, engaged thing. So Dave, great job, Dave. Good job, David. Uh, and now we're going to call down Jessica Mays. Jessica, Jessica. She has just completed her BA, and she is headed to do her B.Ed. in the concurrent education program. So we have teacher-teacher thing going on here, which is kind of cool. And we're also going to recognize Tim Jones now. Tim isn't here today, but I got to tell you, Confession time? Just don't tell Marcia. Marcia, cover your ears. I never thought that he'd have a pinky ring. I am very impressed. Go, Tim. He's an engineer. Lots of hard work into that. 
I thought he'd go into sales. Not that that's easy, but that, you know, but, but no, like, like the ring and everything. Good job, Tim. Um, Michaela Walker. Woo! <laughs> Michaela is a graduate from Mohawk with a diploma in therapeutic recreation therapy. Redundant? No, it is therapeutic and it is therapy. And she is also an award-winning athlete. So Dave's the pitcher. David is the pitcher. She is the back catch right there. And she, uh, good job. Ben Vanderstoop. Hello, Benny. Good job. He's completed the hours and schooling necessary to become an automotive service technician 310S. I have no idea what I've just said. It could have been Greek, but uh, he can be our guy soon. So, uh, Ben, one exam to go. So how about this? We cover your prayers for Ben as he goes in to write his trade exam. Just, can you just remember him on and off? When do you write, Ben? July 11th is the day, y'all. Okay, good job, Ben. That's awesome. <clears throat> what I'm really impressed with is uh, how many cars he has, because that's his thing, and, uh, and he's, be he's been practicing so hard. How many cars do you currently own, Ben? Four, like any young man should. <laughs> uh, and I believe I've seen Sebastian Sears here. Sebastian. Woo, Sebastian. <laughs> Looking very pastoral, sir. Sebastian has graduated from master's with a uh, degree in theology. Yeah? Awesome. Good job. Okay, that's a thing. So good job. All right. So, these are our post-secondary grads, unless I've missed somebody, and I am really sorry if I have. I, we didn't get any other pictures. But we are willing to celebrate everybody. Okay, good. You are very kind people. Okay, we're going to move now to our uh, high school graduates. Monica Mays has graduated grade 12. <laughs> Yeehaw, Moni. You did it. You did it. Uh, yeah, why don't you come on over here? You did it. You did it. Yay, you did it. She's uh, the only kid I know that's attended three proms this year. Awesome. And she looks spectacular for each one. Headed to Guelph to study commerce. Just, you know, something simple. Good job. Jonathan Vander Stoop. Woohoo! Johnny! Jonathan is one of our super volunteers at Community Church. So we're saying, Jonathan, if you're going to go away for school, don't go away. <laughs> okay. No, you do you. That'll be awesome. We're praying for you. Um, but you did get a good start by doing an HVAC co-op. Is that right? Okay. That's awesome. And last of our uh, high school graduates, Ruben Knott. Where are you? Ruben! please, you need the coveted ducky, the graduating ducky. Welcome to Community Church. Reuben just came back from a fabulous trip uh, to the Philippines, yeah? And was it way better than like doing extra school or something? 100%. Okay, good. <laughs> awesome. Reuben, congratulations. That was a lot of hard work. You did it? <laughs> yes. High school is in your rear view mirror, y'all. That's awesome. All right, now we have a couple of younger grads. Oh, no, we have a few, so I'm going to skip a couple. Where are our grade 8 grads? Let's see. Quinn, where are you today? Quinn and Meadow aren't here. All right, Quinn and Meadow aren't here, but we have their photos. And uh, Quinn, <laughs> very Quinn, very, very Quinn, actually. Um, she is uh, planning on becoming the first astronaut from the 11th concession, I'm just guessing, uh, or maybe a rock star kind of author. 
And then Meadow, her twin, is going to be, it, uh, this kid is so organized, high school is just going to be like, whatever. You know, those of us who panic around exams, not her. She's just, I'll have her, all her binders, and she's just fantastic. So, uh, Quinn and Meadow, good job for finishing grade eight. We are going to say yay. And we are all saying yay to our parents in a few minutes because you guys are superstars. Um, all right, so we have some younger, younger grads. And one of them is Josie Stephen. She is going from preschool to big kids school at the Stephen Homestead. So she's the next one in line. Good job, Josie. She's not here today. But for sure and for certain, she'll tune in. So yay, Josie. Um, and then we have Samuel James Orleski, who isn't here. Oh, man. Okay, no worries. He, he needs to do his thing. So Sam graduated. He's going into big kids school. He gets to go in the big yard. He gets to own the big yard next year. So that is going to be fantastic. Okay, guys, we need to give our graduates a massive round of applause because they have done... These are COVID kids. They have worked through some really, really tough stuff. You guys are awesome. So I'm going to ask you to move forward a little bit, and we're going to do a community church thing because we love you. Tim and Nancy are going to come and pray, but the rest of uh, us, we need to come around and just lay hands on these kids and bless them just for... Two minutes it'll take. So come on forward. Everybody needs some bodies here. There you go. You can go in front or behind. And remember our kids that aren't here too. Okay, well, Jesus is alive, Amen. and so we uh, gather together, a special, special day. Tim and I were counting last night, and amongst the two of us, we have 12, we've been through 12 graduations, and uh, we have certificates in the basement to prove this. I'm not exactly sure where they are, but <laughs> there's 12 of those certificates, and each one of them was uh, a battle. Each one of them was a lot of fun. Each one of them was a stepping stone to something else. And so I just, I guess I would just like to say that with every one that we did, we looked at it as uh, education to lead to service. And so we pray that what uh, the Lord has taken you through so far will be a blessing in your lives and for the whole world. And uh, then another thing is that uh, it was important for us to learn to do what we learned. Learning's fun, but we got it. You got to do something with what you learn. And I think that the uh, the one area where that's the most true is the Word of God. That was a great sermon we had last week about the importance of the Word of God. And so my our prayer for each one of you is that the Word of God would be a daily blessing in your lives. Father God, we thank you for this moment of celebration this great day to recognize these students who have put in a lot of work and have a big achievement. And bless them, Father, as they continue in their jobs, in their next step in education, whatever you've got planned for them, be there with them, lead them and guide them, and let them know you're with them. And Father God, I ask for a blessing on their parents who have stood by, encouraged, and let them feel that sense of accomplishment too today, Lord, because this, this is a big one, Mom and Dad. Good, good job. Congratulations. So thank you, Father, for this day that we all get to join in as their church family to, to uh, clap and celebrate and encourage them in their next steps. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Father God, I too thank you for these graduates, and Father God, I ask you to bless these graduates on this special day Jesus. and in the years to come. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. That's awesome. Thank you. Fantastic, you guys. Okay, I'm serious about recognizing the parents of our graduates. If you are a grad, if you have a child that's graduated, even if they're not here, you didn't send in photos, which is cool. Um, can you stand up for a second? Because we want to say, remind you of how awesome you are. Oh, yeah. Look at these people. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. You are producing such fantastic people, and we are so grateful to you. So this, I'm going to give you a little bit of rundown of the rest of the day. In a few minutes, uh, we are going to head outside. You saw the tank outside. Um, so we'll say see you to our uh, uh, live stream folk and say bless you and have a great day. You're welcome to come to the baptism. It's just out there. You got about 10 minutes. No pressure. Um, we're going to have our regular coffee break. We're going to move outside. Uh, if you brought a lawn chair, we may have, uh, might have, I might have failed. Um, reminding about lawn chairs. If you brought a lawn chair, cool. Very cool. If you didn't, um, feel free to stand or feel free to take out the foldy chairs back there. That'd be great. I wouldn't recommend taking these out because they may just never come back in. They'll just... So, uh, yeah, if we can do that. So we're going to go out for baptisms. We have five people being baptized so far. But remember, if you're feeling the urge to be baptized, let me know, and we can get you in there. I just have to yak with you for a few minutes. And then after baptism, we're going to move right into our shared uh, meal. Okay, so is, is it okay if I pray for, bre uh, for lunch, brunch, brunch, brunch? that food thing coming up. Can I pray for that now? And then we're covered, okay? So just check that off in your box. Father God, thanks for the food that we're going to eat eventually. We thank you for every hand that prepared it. And Lord, we just ask you to bless it as we're in fellowship together, Lord, because we know that you're here fellowshipping with us, Lord. So we just want to thank you for that and bless everyone in your name. Amen. Okay. Coffee, and, and Tim and Nancy are also in the prayer room. If you need some prayer, head down to the prayer room and hang out there for a while. Otherwise, get coffee and head outside to the yard. See you in about 10.